Hey guys, this is Stephanie Fair and the Tech Facilitator at Butler High School and this quick video is to talk about an upgrade in Canvas with the sync portion of grading from Canvas to PowerSchool. So some of you may have already noticed this and some of you may not have, so I'm going to cover a few things with this. So we're going to open our Canvas and look at our grades. Remember in any Canvas course when you set up any type of assignment, you can click to sync them with SIS or PowerSchool. You can quickly look at any of your assignments to see if you sync them or not on the far right hand side with the first icon that looks like with the little X and the check mark. When it's black and it's X, it is disabled. So when I scroll down here, these are the items that have been synced to PowerSchool. So normally before I would grade uh, post grades, I would go through my list and turn off the things that I no longer want to post to PowerSchool. However, now with this new upgrade, when I go into the gradebook of PowerSchool, uh, of Canvas, I will be able to do some new options. So here's my gradebook in Canvas, and when I go to post grades, you may notice now there are two options simply posting grades and PowerSchool. If you click the PowerSchool option, it will post grades like it has traditionally always done. But CMS has enabled this new uh, upgraded version that we are field testing for them and next year this is the way it's going to look by clicking post grades. Here's the reason why I like post grades. When you click post grades, now instead of it just saying I'm posting three assignments, it's actually going to tell me what assignments I'm ready to post. If there are any error messages with my assignment, it will tell me that and allow me to fix them. So no longer do I have to go in and search for which assignments are posting and why. I can actually see them. I can select the sections. I can turn on and off the ones I want to post even if I haven't turned them on and off in Canvas. And then I simply click post grades and they will go to PowerSchool. So I like this new option because I can actually see what I'm posting and what I'm doing before I do it and not guess, oh I have three, let me go find the three that I have posting. Now in PowerSchool, this is what it'll look like. I have this notepad up just to cover up my students' names and grades since this will be up on YouTube. I can tell real quickly if the items post or not because they'll have this little drop down arrow if they have posted from Canvas into PowerSchool. Now remember, if you're in Canvas and you have selected the assignment group to match the assignment groups listed in the categories in PowerSchool, then they will automatically come in the correct format. If you do not, then they will come in the incorrect format and you'll get the notes from Vicki and Phil that say there's a sync error message. So I'm going to show you what they look like in Canvas and how to fix that and then how to look for and fix them in your gradebook. In Canvas, when you look at your assignment and you've created it, one of the things you'll have is the assignment group. If you've imported this from a sandbox in Canvas, it goes into imported assignments by default. But if you created a group for informal and formal, just like you've spelled it in PowerSchool, when you select those and you click sync to SIS, when they, the grades import from, Power, from Canvas to PowerSchool, they are automatically going to go into the correct category. So that's what you want to do if you're starting to post a lot of your grades um, from Canvas into PowerSchool. Make sure the assignment groups are the matching the categories in PowerSchool. Now in PowerSchool, when the assignments are posted, like I said, you'll see the drop down arrow. They should be the correct color of the assignment group category that's listed down here in the bottom left. You'll also notice that if you have a sync error, that the group categories will have defaulted back to the original ones uh, prior to us setting up our gradebooks this year. For example, homework, classwork, uh, projects and quizzes versus formal, informal, and midterm and exams. So what you want to do is you want to click the category and then go in and try to delete it. If it won't let you delete the category, that means there's an assignment in one of your classes that is still listed as the incorrect category type. You can find that by clicking up at your assignments and then looking through your assignment list. So when I click my assignments, I can look real quickly through my categories and I can see what my lists are. They should all say formal, informal, midterm. And I can click through each of my classes to look through that. So that is a quick way that you can find your errors and your sinks and fix them. Once you have changed all of your category types to so the correct categories, then you should be able to go into the bottom left hand corner of PowerSchool and delete that category type and then that would correct your, your sync error messages. And in the future, you just need to make sure that you've adjusted that in, Power, in Canvas when you sync your grades over. All right, so good luck with your updated grade sync pass and have a great day.